Did you wash your hands already? I I heard you, the water on. I didn't hear you scrubbing nothing. So. I did scrub. Let me smell your hands. No. Try again. What? Try again. And then dry. And then dry them off. I started posting videos on Instagram just of my day to day because as a stay-at-home father, you're just kind of alone. You know, um, when you go to the park, it's different. The stay-at-home moms, they don't talk to you, right? So it's a little awkward. So as a way to feel like seen, I just would post videos and someone was like, man, you really should start a YouTube channel. And what happened today? Um, were you nice? Yes. Yes, you were? Yes. You sure? Okay. Were you crying? No. You didn't cry all day? No. That's not true. You cried. I heard you crying. You were saying, Dad. Mm, mm. Dad. Yeah. Like a baby. You were crying like a baby? I'm crying like a baby. Are you all done crying now? Yeah. Good. Have a kiss. Okay, go outside. Oh, let's put your shoes on real quick. Shoes. <clears throat> Put that, the wipes away for me. Thanks, buddy. So I started doing music, right? I was a DJ and a crew, and then um, I started emceeing, and I started rapping, and I got good at that, and I was kind of like rapping, and we were traveling around the country, and I'm, I'm, I'm trekking, like, and I never wanted to be a father, you know? When my friends got, had babies, I was like, your life is over. Um, I honestly believed that about parenthood. And so it wasn't until I saw a father who was being really, really good at his job, um, loving on his family, I thought that I could do it. So I realized the power of proof. And so I started to make YouTube videos because I wanted to be proof for other people, proving that just being a father and being present is, is enough. Shooting with Target, getting the kids ready for tomorrow. They have swim tomorrow and they have lunch in school and they have lunch that they gotta prepare. We make all of our, most of our money <laughs> through brand deals. And so the opportunities that the brands use us for, um, you know, like commercials. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Um, you're right once you tell me to a baseball, a basketball challenge. You wanna go ahead? Sure. Okay. Wait, are we starting? Yeah, you wanna start? These little kids. Ha! Ah! Dude! <laughs> no! Lucy, watch out! This is about to be an epic shot. Watch out, bro! <sighs> Who won? Me. All right, that means you get to make your lunch first. Dad, it was a very epic battle. It was an epic battle? Yeah. As I was traveling and going around and all this stuff, I'm performing for these people on this platform, but the biggest stage I would ever stand on is in my living room. Like that, that's the place I'll have the most effect, right? Is in my house. And I was like, if I can find a way to provide for my family, but staying home, I would want to do that. You know what I mean? And so that's what started like belief in fatherhood. Uh, my wife is out of town this weekend. Her grandfather just passed away. So she's like at a funeral this weekend. And so she's coming home and she comes back Friday. Pressure. George just got here. He's setting up lighting. He's gonna, I, I, maybe has a printout of the production and we're gonna make some magic. We're gonna have it edited back over to the brand later on this week. It's gonna be harder to get them. Yep. That's for life. I'm gonna go in the bathroom and cut Raya's, uh, straighten up Raya's hair. I think for me, having the kids be involved in teaching them like this is how we make our money. The children are able to generate their own income by be being employees of the company you know, which is super dope. Um, and so watching their bank accounts grow and stuff like that is pretty cool. If it sticks, then it's ready. Watch out. Whoa! Whoa. Perfect. I wanna slide, I wanna slide. You can take that one and throw it up there again. Can I try two? After she's done. You know, I'll get it for you. Thank you. For photos? Yeah. Whoa! Throw it. Throw it. Throw it any way you want. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Did it still stick? Yeah. Perfect. It's just like it's not even it's not even a thought of like 
it's just what got to get done and then and it's like we're always going to try to complete it to the best of our ability but like the kids balancing them it's it's pretty simple and plus they, they're really good kids you know what i'm saying like you gotta do what you gotta do come on dog you just tearing off pieces like that it's hard to look 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 a whole piece of turkey I don't know what that is right there, man. You sprinkling turkey on a sandwich. And now everybody else got a whole chunk missing of their turkey. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny. Not at all. Cookie. No, you already had fruit snacks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I sat down with a friend of mine, he asked tough questions, right? He goes, what's your five-year plan? I said, I don't know. He said, what's your 10-year plan? I said, I have no idea. He said, what's your 15-year plan? I said, well, I'm 30. I know by the time I'm 45, I don't want to be rapping in front of people in Minnesota talking about put your hands up. Like, that's ridiculous. And he said, okay, well, what do you want to be doing? I said, I want to be writing music and uh, telling people how great it is to be a father. He said, okay, where's their attention? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that, right? YouTube. He's not, a, he's not a social media guy, but he goes, how often do you have to post on these platforms for 15 years to grow to X amount of followers to make X amount of dollars? And so I was like, oh, I don't know. So we looked it up, you know, once a day on uh, Instagram, twice a day on Twitter, once a week on YouTube. It's very simple. I said, okay, well, if you do this and work backwards for 15 years, that's, you should get to where you want to be. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And two years later, everything that I had wanted had happened. I did a TED talk, released a book. Uh, I was making the amount of money I said I wanted to make. Um, and like, we were about to buy a house. Yeah, I'm always black. I love it when they call me that. I love seeing black people party together. Man, that joint always slack. I love seeing black on black, duh. Man, can we celebrate that? Man, can we elevate that? Wednesday is vlog upload day. So typically I don't take any meetings on Wednesdays and we just upload the vlog and uh, we premiere the vlog, we chat with the audience and then we see how the audience responded. And then we'll start looking at the analytics from the last couple videos we did to see where, what spikes happen while people are watching. And then we'll take smaller cuts from that because it's all about short form content. It's bite size. I have a lot of meetings today people I've been avoiding <laughs> basically the beginning of the week because of, you know, needing to write a song or needing to edit or me needing to reshoot stuff. So today is like checking the short form content, making sure we're up to date on all our brand stuff. We just got approved for our video. So that'll be coming out on TikTok tomorrow, which was like, well, we're not going to say anything, but <laughs> Fridays is basically a day where I just get to write, rap, work on music, and have more meetings. So we've just been uploading like all of our TikTok content that's been getting received well, and then so our views are higher than normal because of the smaller content and how much YouTube is pushing that engagement for shorts. Somebody just sent that to me. That be happening. A lot of people be sending stuff and sometimes like you don't really know what to do with it. Um, but it's like someone like, that is, this is our logo. You know what I'm saying? That's really awesome. Someone did that for me. They sent me two of those joints. I never said thank you, but thank you. <laughs> this right here is uh, a Synology. This is our NAS networking system right so this is like where we keep all of our files and stuff like that um yeah and this is where all of our stuff is we all work off of it um we import it into our ssds and then we work off of that like with proxy files they work with proxy files and premiere i still use final cut you know what i'm saying so it, it definitely causes cause a little bit of controversy but we're working through it you know so it's all good I tried to get rid of music because I thought that it was a distraction from family. I thought it was pulling me away. But then I remembered that I'm a storyteller. And so who am I to, if I'm really nice with the sword, why put the sword down? You know what I mean? Like just celebrated, you know, we just had a gold record, a record gold gold coming in hot. I helped write that record. 
that's a big deal. Not a lot of people can say they have a gold record, you know what I mean? So um, I wanted to put more energy and intention behind uh, the other ways that we can help out creatives. Like my buddy James, right? I've known James for years. Um, do one of them um, DJ Khaled suffering from success poses. You know how he's always stressed out? No, no, that looks like you smelling your hand. <laughs> Nah, it's more like, you, like, like you're trying to think about how you're trying to get the next check. James is the in-house producer for Belief in Fatherhood, so he's been investing in the company for so long, it makes sense that we would invest back into him. Because I have so many different relationships with a lot of brands and my network is really popping, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can put people in position to win. What I can do as a production company is give him the space and room to create. He's just like, we can do so much and just like, why not do it? I learned how to finesse. I think what props do we have, even have here? I found a keyboard and a turntable. I like being the guy that's grabbing stuff, putting stuff together, bouncing light, you know what I'm saying? Like I'd rather be in that spot. I can big someone else up and give them confidence enough so they can pursue their dreams. It's one of them things was kind of like an honor, you know what I mean? It's like only a few people get to do this for real, you know? And one foot is gonna go back, so you're gonna be like, like that, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta like really like believe it. Like there's no benefit to learn the other language. It's obvious everybody need a savior. It's obvious. If we try to sell records, I don't care nothing about your fear, cuz. <laughs> Let's sell these records, man. Until it's time to do your enemy your favor. It might be worth it to first just- That might've been it. Yeah, man. That's it. Everybody's venturing into new territory. I had to kind of become the CEO for the employees and the company and all that stuff to advance the company forward. Everything's a risk at this point, but it's like you have to bet on the people and uh, the, the talent that you know, you've been investing in. It's definitely possible. And there was a lot of failures along the way. I was the one garage crickets, cricketing. My wife's throwing poopy diapers into the garage. I'm smelling it. I gotta, I'm clicking away, trying to edit the video. I'm tired, it's two o'clock in the morning. Ugh. But it's like, now, look where we're at, guys. You know? <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for your hard work today. Hello, neighbor, how are you? Really wanna challenge you to love. So now I gotta go home, put the kids to bed. I got no sleep last night. Well, I was like, oh, I deserve to stay up late, watch Breaking Bad, you know what I'm saying? And I stayed up till like 11.30, and then he was up at four. The, the main thing is I should have just went to sleep. When all else fails, just go to sleep early. <laughs> <laughs>